So what did your parents think was going on? Because your parents must have just trusted him 100% they, to look after they, you. They did, and, and they trusted the football club. You know, the, yes. this was a professional football club. My, my parents back then believed that I would be safe mm -hmm. um, at a professional football club. Uh, this is where the professional football club put me to stay. Um, and yeah, you know, my, the whole relationship with my parents since then has been a difficult one for them because they're probably... They feel guilty. Yes. Yes. Absolutely, yeah. they do. And, and when I agreed to speak out and I disclosed, the, the first conversation I had was with my parents. And, you know, they'd be the first to admit it's not been an easy easy relationship, even since then. It's, it's been hard. involved, doesn't it? They, they're yes. left with guilt. Um, so you, you went to, to play for Crew Alexander. You stayed in his house. Um, he was seemed to be, you know, bigging up your football, telling you how great you were, you're going to have yep. a fantastic career. When did it change and when did you realise this man is after something else from me? What happened? It, it, was, it was at Christmas, which is a, a difficult time, really, for me. So it was Christmas Eve. Um, his dog had bitten me in the face. There was four of us staying there. And then he used, rather than take me to hospital, he just kind of used these scare tactics all day, wouldn't get me any medical attention. Um, he had a pet puma, and I know this sounds really bizarre, but he really did have a pet puma that just used to roam around the living room. He put on a scary horror movie in the evening. I was homesick. Sorry. But, but that, that is really how he managed to get close to me, really. He said, oh, come on, I'll give you a cuddle. Come and have a cuddle, Something. watching a horror film, scared. That's how it first started. And, and were there and other boys there at the time? There were three other boys there at the time. But he did this, you know, he got a blanket and he touched you very inappropriately. He did. As a 13-year-old yeah. boy, how did you feel at that moment? Um, it, it's a weird one because it, in your mind you kind of go, did it happen, didn't it happen? And you know it did. Or was it an accident? Was yeah. it an accident? But, but it happened twice, um, very quickly. The first time I thought potentially that could have been an accident. The second time clearly wasn't an accident. Did and you tell any of the other boys? Or... I've never told anybody in 32 years before. Yeah, but do you know point. why? Now, now looking back, obviously you were very young, do mm. you know why you kept that a secret? Absolutely, yeah. Shame. Guilt. So the, the victims always feel shame. Yeah, What's the other thing? That you really love football. And that if you messed it up with him, that was your football yeah, down the down I the mean, drive. part of his old grooming process really was he was my key to achieving my dream as a 13-year-old yeah. boy. You know, I was going to be a professional football player. It's all I ever wanted to do. So, you know, part of me was a bit like, this is what I have to go through to be able to achieve that. So.